Hey to all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review. So, we got a big stovepipe can on the table tonight guys, and it's a little bit of imperial stout time. We are going back once again to Clown Shoes Brewery, or Clown Shoes Beer. Uh, we're taking a look at this fella, looking really really good, Ancient Hills. Described as a chocolate malt stout aged in bourbon barrels. Doesn't that look really, really lovely? That lovely kind of uh, surrealistic artwork. Lot of text back there, guys. I'm not going to read it to you. But I will uh, let anyone, of course, pause the video if you like to read it for yourselves. Not gonna read it out to you. Uh, yeah, there you go. What do they say? There we go. It's a one pint, three point two fluid ounces can coming at ten percent ABV. Clown shoes beer, guys, out of the U.S. Of course, uh, I think they're out of Baltimore or something like that. I love this can. Ancient Hills chocolate malt stout, Asian bourbon barrels. Let's get. Let's get this uh, beer out, see what we are going to get. Yeah, I'm excited. I really like clown shoes. I've tried some good beers from these guys before, and this was a price you can. Let me tell you. Okay, there we go. Filled to the very brim, and that we like. Right, I'm going to give this one a good old center pour. Yeah, so Clown Shoes, they're doing some really, really good beers. I remember I have some good IPAs from these guys, and I have some good Imperial Stouts as well. I had there, what was it called? Uh, I think it was like a Mexican Stout. Sombrero, something like that it was called. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. There's plenty of beer to go around in this can, let me tell ya. Okay, so... Yeah, but I mean, as I said, I do like Clown Shoes to do some really, really good beers. Picked this one up last week. Uh, three fingers worth of head, brown colored, a lot of big bubbles on top. Good deal of carbonation, jet black beer into that glass. Looking good. A uh, chocolate malt stout, Asian bourbon barrels, they say. Let's see what we get on the nose. To tell you the truth, guys, I don't really get much on the nose. A little bit of a kind of a uh, malty sweet nose, but that's basically all I'm getting. Yeah, almost like a soapy note. And that's what I'm getting, unfortunately. That's what I'm getting, guys. Almost, now I get a little bit of a different smell here. Almost like a gingerbread thing going on. Really weird. But I mean, yeah, it's all in the taste. We can just, you know, sniff and sniff, but it's all in the taste. So let's dive in, see what we are going to get. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so that's a very, very thin body. Very thin body right away for being an Imperial Stout, guys, at 10%. Uh, but I'm gonna, yeah, you know, I'm gonna pour a little bit more beer in. There we go. Let's get the back end pour in so we get all the beer in. Maybe we will get a little bit more aromas and flavors on the back and pour. There we go. Nice looking one finger worth of head. Jet black again. Oh. I mean, yeah. 
for me, kind of disappointing to, to tell you the truth, guys. I'm always honest in my re beer reviews. You know that by now if you subscribe to the channel. I'm always honest. I give you my honest opinion, guys. I really do. Uh, I'm not affiliated with e e anyone, any company, any brewery, anything at all. I'm just an average Joe giving you my... Uh, I'm, you know, interested in beers. And I'm giving you my truthful opinion about different beers. And this one doesn't really impress me. Unfortunately, again... Okay, so right off the bat, they marketed they market this one as a chocolate malt stout. It says there very clearly, aging bourbon barrels. Yeah, I get a little bit of a uh, bourbon hint, more that soapiness, little slight hints of caramel. Uh, but that's basically it, guys. I don't really get much of that chocolate note. It's a very thin body, a lot of carbonation. For me, it doesn't really give me at all anything of what it is advertised on the can. And they advertise this one as a chocolate malt stout, 18 bourbon barrels. It doesn't really do it for me, unfortunately. And I'm really, 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 you know, I'm really sad to say that. Because Cloud Shoes, they have done some really good beers in the past. I love the can. Good old stovepipe. 10 percenter. Yeah. Let's go for the final sip and the final evaluation. Yeah. For me, this was a really pricey beer. Was it worth it? No. No. Unfortunately not. A uh, little bit of booziness. A little bit of maltiness. A little bit of caramel. A little bit of vanilla. But that's basically it. That's that's all she wrote, guys. Don't get any much of that chocolate. Don't really get any bur real bourbon notes. Boring. Very watery body for being an imperial stout for me. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. I really am sorry. But I don't like this one. Two out of five. Thank you for watching.